Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful holiday season so far. Today's video is going to be a very simple sugar and spice makeup tutorial featuring the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Celebration Matte Lux Transforming Eyeshadow Palette. For a full review, including swatches and close-ups of this palette, be sure to check out the description box below. I'll have a link to my review video, but for now, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Do you see? Do you see? Hey, you want to say hi to everybody? No. We're very busy napping. Hey, smiley boy. All right, so first I'm going to start with a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, and I'm going to go into the shade Snow Angel right here. And I'm going to use that shade to apply on my brow bone and on the inner corners of my eye just to provide some brightness and some highlight. It's fairly sheer, so it's not going to show up a whole lot, but like I said, it'll add just the right amount of brightness right there. All right, next I'm going to take a Coastal Sense Doe Foot Shadow Brush and I'm going to go into the shade Gingerbread. I was so excited to see something named Gingerbread in this palette. I don't know why. I love Gingerbread. I make it every year for my studio's um, holiday show. Everyone makes cookies for the party after the show and I always make the Gingerbread and I had a lot of fun this year making it. So, oh no, it makes me giddy. It makes me happy. You know, holidays, holidays just, they get me. And I'm going to apply the shade pretty much all over the lid. All over the lid and up to right about where we ended with Snow Angel. Just a nice wash of color all over. Alright, next I'm going to be using a Coastal Scents BRC NO2 brush, which is a pointed tip brush. I'm going to go into the shade Spice, that nice warm brown. And I'm going to apply this in a C shape around the outside of my eye. around and then under. All right, now I'm going to be taking a Coastal Sense BRC SO2 brush. It's just medium shadow brush and I'm going to go into the shade Miracle right here. And I'm going to apply it just on the outer half of my eyelid. Right inside where I applied spice. This is just going to bring a nice sort of pink tone to the eye. Alright, now I'm going to be using a Coastal Scents Dome Foot Brush and I'm going to go into the shade Hot Cocoa right here, that nice dark brown. And this I'm going to lightly press into just that very, very outer corner just to darken up the eye a bit. Alright, now I'm going to be taking a Sedona Lace EB13 brush and go back into the shade Miracle, that rose, that dark rose right there. And I'm going to use this and blend it just on the outer edge of, I guess, everywhere that we applied shadow, <laughs> everywhere that we applied spice. Now I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. All right, so I've curled my lashes and put on my initial base coat of a waterproof mascara. And the eyeliner that I'm going to use today is Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Double-Sided Pencil. I think this one is the one that's linked to, or not linked to, but um, goes with the Naked 3 palette. It has Dark Side and Black Heart. So I'm going to use the shade Dark Side, and I'm going to apply just a very simple line above the lashes. Um, not going to wing it out or anything, just... Pretty, a pretty decent size line because it blends in so well with these shadows. It looks so pretty against it. It just adds a nice shadow in behind the lashes which makes the lashes appear a little bit fuller. 
All right, now that I've done that, the last thing I'm gonna do for my eyeliners, I'm gonna use Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Trooper, and I'm going to apply a very, very thin line, very, very close to the base of the lashes. Once again, this is just a trick to make the lashes appear fuller. All right, now for the edge, I'm going to go ahead and wing it out just ever so slightly. And this is just gonna kind of mimic where my eyelashes should be extending out. So it'll look more like my lashes than like winged liner should. All right, now to do a quick cleanup underneath the eyes, I'm gonna be using CoverGirl's True Blend Fix Stick in L5, 6, and 7, because my circles are dark today. And I'm gonna apply a dash here and then a dash here and give that a second to let it set. All right, once that's had time to set, I'm just going to very, very lightly blend it in with my fingertips, being careful not to smudge it too much over spice. And what's really great about Doing this after you've very, uh, applied very soft shadows like these is I'm kind of cleaning up that edge just a little bit and shaping it where I want it to be. Then I'm going to be using a flat top buffer brush from Coastal Scents and the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation and this is the lightest shade, Fair, and I'm going to use that to set the concealer. All right, now it's time for my main coat of mascara. All right, and the final touches is I'm going to use a Chella Ivory Lace Highlighter Stick, and I'm going to apply that to my waterline just to make the eyes appear a little bit brighter, a little bit wider. Then I'm going to take a Real Techniques Detailer Brush and go into the lightest part of the Transforming Ombre right here, the Radiance Ribbon and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner of my eye. It's very subtle, it's not gonna be a huge amount of shimmer, but it just opens it up a little bit, gives it a nice, really soft glow. I think it contrasts really nicely with the darkness of the outside of the eye. And that's the finished look, very simple, but nice and warm for the holidays. And that's it for the sugar version of this tutorial. For this look, I just paired it with a nude lip and some pink blush. Now to transform it into the spice look, instead of using the pink peach ombre radiance ribbon shade on the inner corners of my eye, I used the gold end. And then I blended a little bit of that same gold just above the crease, just so it matches with the inner corner of the eye. And then I changed my lips to a darker shade. Very simple, very easy, transformable. If you're maybe going to a party later on, holiday party or a date, you can just simply swipe on the gold, swipe on a lipstick, and there you go. You have transformed into your spice version. I hope everyone enjoyed the tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you did, subscribe if you haven't already. But for now, happy makeuping, everyone. I'll talk to you all very soon. Mwah. Bye.